Seven-year-old born victim Shania Prasad fought a long and difficult battle after she was badly burnt about her body when her North Monrepo house caught fire on August 5th. On Sunday evening, Shania succumbed to her injuries at the Shriners Hospital in Galveston, Texas. The Saving Hands Emergency Aid Shia organization that helped evacuate her for emergency treatment in the United States stated that her heart stopped twice on Sunday and her doctors tried desperately to resuscitate her. However, when her heart stopped for the third time, she was pronounced dead. The newsroom spoke with the child's father, Lake Ram Persad, via telephone on Monday, and he said his daughter's burial will take place in Guyana. So, so far, the doctors tell me she will be home. She will be home. So they said I will try to stay home. The people are going to say this people. Then. They say how they're going to try how to get her home because they say they're going to take her and they're going to try to um, anything, anything happen. The Rotary Club of Demerara, which also greatly assisted in Shania's evacuation to the United States, stated that they are saddened at her passing and that they had given her the best possible care. Shania was in a stable condition after her first phase of treatment. However, on Friday, September 6, doctors had to amputate one of her legs, a few of her fingers, and a section of her ear. Shia said that doctors tried everything possible to treat the little girl, but she also had internal injuries that were difficult to treat. Meanwhile, a relative Marina Biswa said Shania was very brave and she will be missed greatly. Shania was a very loving child as everybody knows. She is very respectable and she loved to keep everybody up. She was very, very loving and she's very innocent. We all know she didn't deserve this, but now that she's in a better place, whatever has happened, we just want her to rest in peace. We love her very much. All she left us with is memories. But she was too young for this. Shania loved to play. She loved cricket. She used to be the only little girl with all the little boys through the street. And she would play and she would run. When it comes to school, she was well performed and everybody knew that. When it comes to activities at school, she always participated. She was an all-rounder and a very sweet child. We love her very much, Shania. We miss you a lot, and we will miss you a lot. Just rest in peace, baby. It was a traumatic scene when little Shania walked out of her family's burning house and golfed in flames and ran to the end of the street, screaming for her mother. Reporting for Newsroom, Isanella Pato.